Hey folks, today I want to show you how I use EQ2 um, to EQ kick drums and how to um, tune kick drums to your sub and or how I do it most of the times. Maybe I have a, a sub bass at F. Yeah. Then what I usually do is to tune my kick drum to A or C. And most of the time C is um, basically just fine. And as you can see, this is um, just a perfect uh, major triad. So it's a chord, right? And that's the key to basically uh, tune your drums. You can um, say this is my root note and my gig goes to A and my snare goes to C or kick to C and snare to A. Um, of course, another octave, not all A2 and C3, but um, the main key is A or C for the kick and the snare. So um, what I do is I use the sub at F and yeah, let's create a small sub base here. like this and then create a kick drum with the e-kick device and I use this input here and um, type in the number of the note um, a1 maybe no a0 like this And my kick drum goes now to A0. I don't have to use the right key here in the uh, piano roll because it's uh, not dependent on the piano roll. This is not, um, it's always uh, the key you type in here. So A0. Then I usually do um, change the decay shape here. And you can type in um, maybe A6 for the tone. until it sounds right to your ears, right? So, um, and the next step is, um, I usually use an EQ2 to push the right frequencies. And I turn this down a bit here. And you know, we tuned the kick drum to A0. So what I want to push here is A0. No, I want to push A1. So in one octave above our fundamental. Maybe sometimes if you want a more subtler uh, kick drum, then you of course can push um, a zero. Or if you want more, more mid-range kick drum, you use a one or a two. Or if you use C, then of course C zero, C one, or C two. So it fits the overall harmony of the tuning. And I want to push um, maybe a five. Or let's use a four. And what I also do is I use multiple instances of this EQ 
so I can um, maybe cut the low end entirely or push uh, some different frequencies. And if you if you need more bands, then of course you can duplicate this even more. Until it sounds right to your ears and your song. And as you can see, just pushing the right frequencies or the right harmonies uh, of the kick drum emphasizes the tuning of the kick and maybe it sounds much better in the context of your of the rest of your track right you can also do this on the sub of course to push some uh, upper frequencies um, but uh, in terms of distance you of course can use the operators to create uh, generate harmonies above the root note okay but what i want to show you is use the eq2 don't shy away from uh, using multiple instances. I don't even need the EQ5 for that. Um, I always tend to use the EQ2 and then duplicate the instances to have multiple bands. Um, yeah, you can see I have six bands now here and the EQ5 is only five bands. Maybe this there are some drawbacks to duplicating the EQ device, but I think it sounds just fine to my ears at least. And yeah, uh, think about uh, tuning your sub bass and kick to a kind of chord arrangement. So you have the sub at the lowest root note and then you use the other chord notes to tune the kick and the snare. Two tips or three tips in this video just for you on the Sunday. And that's it for this video. And I see you tomorrow. Bye.